Hello and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to make an RPG style text box in Game Maker. RPG style te text box by, I mean, the one similar to the, po the ones in Pokemon games where the text box comes in one letter at a time and you can press enter to complete the text. You can press space to continue the text and go to a different one. Go to someone else talking. You probably know what I mean. Hold on for one moment. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, you want to load the scripts package. The lo you want to load all the items in the description. Located in the resource package in the description. So you want to download that resource package. And you want to import the scripts and sprites. To import the scripts, uh, See, desktop. It comes in a little folder, GML like this. You just click on it, and it loads sprites automatically with two scripts. And you also want to load the sprites with the same exact name as they are, as they are presented. The sprites and the sound, like this, or like this, with the same exact name as they are present. SND underscore letter for the sound. SPR underscore letters. SPR underscore text box. SPR underscore text more. The same names. Also, will not work. Now, I'm going to explain the script in my next tutorial, which will teach you how to customize the RPG text box. For now, it comes with default settings and positions, so um, you can change that. I'll teach you how to change that in my next tutorial, because I won't have enough time for it in this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save myself the trouble. I'm going to make these a little bigger, the sprites for the thing a little bigger. So I'm going to stretch it a little. Oh, okay, I stretched it a little. Make them a little bigger to see. And I'm going to do, I'm going to objects. Uh, and I'm going to create a chat. So, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a controller object. I'm going to call it obj underscore story. I'm not going to create a chat between an NPC. I'm going to make, when the game starts, I'm going to make it tell a story using the tech, the RPG style text box as an example. Um, also, it might go a little slow because I'm recording at the same time. So, yeah. So for object story, it's going to be a control object, so it doesn't need a sprite. Add an event, create, um, main 2 tab. We want to set alarm. Set alarm 0 to 20. As I said, I'm just going to teach you how to use it. In my next tutorial, I'll teach you how to customize it. And I'm going to add an event, alarm, alarm zero. So alarm zero, control, execute code. Put a bracket, scr, underscore. Now the sprite that we're referring to, the script that we're referring to is this, scr underscore dialog box. So I'm going to put scr underscore dialog box parentheses, quotation marks. Welcome to the game, friend. Friend. So we have welcome to the game, friend. That's what it's going to say. That's what the text box is going to say when it appears up. So we have this. Put another parentheses to enclose it in. Comma true. Comma true comma true. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I know I did something wrong. And then put the parenthesis, this here. And now we can put the closing bracket. No errors. Yeah, welcome to the game front. That's what it's going to say. Comma true, comma true, comma true. This has to be here or else it won't work. I'm telling you that right now. This has to be here or it won't work. And then if we want to add more text, we want to add, um, let's say, more chat. So I'm going to say a different person or whatever, or in a different box. What we do? Two. We want to set alarm 1 to 20. This will appear in a separate box by itself. So, yeah, set alarm 1 to 20. Then we'll do alarm 1. Uh, save time, copy paste. And we do the same thing again. Except this time, 
and we change the text up. My name is Retrive. I will be your guide today. So we just change the text. So we just change the text up. We still have the same um, script, just just different text. And then, yeah. So I don't want any more text. I just want two boxes. Now I'll put a set. I'll put one with the final one. This time we'll set alarm two to twenty. An event alarm alarm two. If you want to. If you want to end it, okay, then we'll just say, um, what do you want to learn? And then the script will take care of the rest. That's all you have to do. Just put in quotation, what you're going to say in quotation marks, comma true, comma true, comma true, just like this. And alarms. So to create event, set alarm 0 to 20. Alarm 0, execute a piece of code, set alarm 1 to 20. And inside the code is the text. So that's basically it. Let's, let me show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to just put it in the room. And better yet, to make sure it doesn't interrupt anything, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the create event to a game start event so it doesn't ruin anything. So it doesn't ruin anything or mess anything up. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, i got to catch it before it starts. I see it appeared, welcome to the game, friend, with um, that little sound. And I pressed the, what button is it, enter, I think? Yeah, enter. My name is Retry This. I will be your guide today. Like I said, I'll teach you how to customize it. It already skipped to the next line automatically. So I'll be your guide today. I'll teach you how to customize it in the next tutorial so that the R will appear on the same line and you can make it bigger. And I press enter again. What do you want to learn? And that's basically it. Um, if I had pressed the space bar button, it would have completed the line instead of um, going to the next box. It would have completed it. Well. This has been an original Retry This production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to watch the next tutorial, which will teach you how to customize the RPG text box. So, yeah.